Hello! I was contacted via YouTube by the people at Oxbeam if I would like to do a review on some of their LED products. And I thought, absolutely! I love LEDs! So yes, they did send me them for free. I have not received their money. And if you don't know me in this channel, if this is good, I'll tell you if it's good. If it's shit, I'll tell you shit. So... Ah, okay. In there is the headlight bulbs. We'll review them in another video. So, this is the... Nice, okay. Oh, there she goes. More things! Right, okay, I get it. Oh, yes. This is their... That's it. Keep kicking the camera. Come on. Hell, David. This is their 22-inch LED light bar. I'll tell you something for free. It's heavy. <laughs> it's also aluminium. Which is that? God, can you imagine if this was made out of plastic? How would you get rid of all the heat from LEDs and how quickly would it melt? It's got a plastic cover over the thing. We'll get to that once we've had a good look at it. Well, I've had a good look at it. It is absolutely an aluminium... Uh, aluminium? Aluminium LED light bar. Stage one when buying a new thing. <laughs> Power it on. Before you do anything, see if it works. Okay, great box. It's really, you have to go away now. Thanks. We'll come back to the box because there's more bits in there. All right. Be gone, shipping packaging. I've got my little bench power supply here. I've set it to 12 and a half volts. That's that's roughly battery voltage. Not alternator voltage. I'll take it up to 14 and see if it gets any visibly brighter with that. But first things first. Let's connect up. So my power supply is up to 10 amps. So if this is more than 10 amps, hopefully there'll be smoke and fire. Oh, oh, 7 amps. Oh, wow. Good God. Golly, that's swamping everything out. It's also quite a warm light. I've locked the white balance on the camera, so it should have been white to start with, so you see this is a quite a, a blue warm, not blue, blue warm, for the love of God. Blue cold light. I can feel the heat coming off of that. Wow. Okay, so yes, it's bright. How bright it's... Oh, ah, uh, yeah. That's good. I looked into it. Now I can't see a thing. Okay, here's the dipped headlights of the pickup. And we'll show you with LEDs on. Oh yes, nice bright and centre. A little bit off the sides. Now we'll try it with full beams and... or flashers. So that's flashers. And, and full beams. And then full beams and LEDs. Full beam, plus LED. Plenty, plenty bright. Right, let's do some science. So the dipped headlights themselves give a hundred lumen. You won't be able to see it on there. With the LEDs on, it gives four thousand lumen. Of course that's just a very spot in the center so it obviously gets less as it goes out the sides, but it's incredibly bright. Right, let's see what you get in your box. The light, obviously. You will also receive some mounting brackets, also aluminium, which is unusual. I would have expected cheap plastic, but no, aluminium. What else? Instructions for the headlights. Now we don't need them today. Uh, it appears to be more mounting hardware. Screws, rubber pads. Oh, rubber pads! Nice. Anyway, and 
washers, nuts, bolts, screws. Yeah, you get the idea. And this appears to be... Oh, it's a switch and a fan case. Is that a re oh, even a relay? Come on. That's actually pretty decent. Come on now. I don't care what everybody says. Instructions. Side, side bottom. Side bottom mount. I want a card. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome to Hawksbeam. Your installation now completed. That was easy. Top, bottom. Alright, side mount instructions. Okay. A different mount. We have not received different mounts. We have side mounts, not bottom mounts. I don't know if there's an option you can ask for bottom mounts, but nope, we just got side mounts. Blah, 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 screw, blah, yeah, connect, power, lights. Haha. -ha. I do expect. Right, let's open this. Okay, we have. Hmm. A rattly switch. That's not confidence inspiring. Shoot, switches shouldn't really rattle, as far as I was concerned. Okay, but hey. Switch up to plug. How long is that? That's about a meter. That's it. Yeah, dangle on the floor. No, no, it'll be fine down there. Unfangle. Come on now. Play the game here. Maybe this old fashioned way. One. Two. Two and a half? Two, two and a half meters of heavy wire to run up to the lights to your relay box, which is just an absolute standard. 40 amp relay. Good plug though. 40 amp relay. A wee short dot of wire. This is obviously to go to your power source, be it your battery or whichever power source you want to take it from. Noting that the supply wire to the power is thinner than the wire to the lamp. Granted, shorter, yes, but I thought for consistency's sake they would have just used the same wire. 30 amp fuse, which is maybe a Bit in the heavy side since it's only a well, it's less than a 10 amp load. I would maybe like to have gone down to 15. And oh, yeah. one, two, maybe three meters of switch wire up to your switch, which does have go on, focus an on off button. You don't have to use this, of course, it's, but it's nice that they provided you with the option. So, just one thing though. The wire, the switch, what we call this, the wiring kit loom they supply you has two spade connectors for connecting to the LED lamp. But the LED lamp is just supplied bare wires. So you're either going to have to Cut the ends off this and solder it together, or go and get ends and encrypt them onto these ones so you can join them together. A small thing, but you think they could have put the ends on this as well, or left them both blank. Either or, they're trying, I suppose, with the wiring. wiring thing. Okay, wiring kit, lamp, side mounting kit, rubbery feet and things. Okay, let's test the light output and test the heat. As we know, it rains a lot in Scotland, so I have developed this Scottish weather simulator into which to test the lights. Da -da 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 -da! Yeah, it's a bucket of water. Right, the LED light bar has an IP rating of 67, which means it's fully dust tight and fully immersible down to a meter. Well, I haven't got a meter deep pool, so we're just going to splosh it into this bucket. And you can see this. Come on, wires. Wish I had a slightly bigger bucket, but hey. Got to run, run what you brung. Here we are. Whoa. 
Let me take you for a walk. Oh, here it is. Fully emerged. There is water. Haven't seen any bubbles, which is usually a good sign that, you know, if there's bubbles coming out, there's liquid going in. Let's see if we made much difference to the... Still nice and bright. Wow, really bright. God. So, there we are. It is fully waterproof. <laughs> it's awesome. So if you need e excellent fish like tanks, uh, fish, fish like tanks, no. Fish tank lights, can, can recommend. All right, how hot does it get? Well, the front's a little bit difficult because it's a shiny surface, so it doesn't really show you the correct temperature. So it's been on for, oh, that's my hand, a good half hour. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, the back panel here, which is a nice matte black, so it gives us a nice good temperature. I don't know if you can see the temperature clearly, but it's 50, 50 odd degrees. Oh, it's hot up this end. Oh, it's definitely hot up the end. So I'm guessing the electronics must be up there somewhere. Anyway, so it's at about 50 degrees. I haven't noticed a light output changing at any point. So the heat sink's working. Right, now we'll take the pickup for a quick drive and show you the LED bar turning on and off versus just your normal dip headlights. Wow, that's quite impressive. You'll notice uh, it's really bright in the middle, but it's still bright off to the edges because it's got those floods at the sides as well as the spot LEDs in the middle. But yeah, that's pretty impressive.